Good morning. It's Wednesday, April 7th, and you're looking at a live view of Falcon 9 as it awaits its 12.34 p.m. Eastern Time launch from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. My name is Jesse Anderson, a lead manufacturing engineer here at SpaceX, joining you from our headquarters in Hawthorne, California. You're watching a live webcast for our 24th Starlink mission and our 10th mission of 2021, all on reflown boosters. The bottom two-thirds of the vehicle you see there is the first stage. It previously flew six times, having supported the launch of NASA astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley to the International Space Station, a NASA's two, CRS-21, Transporter-1, and two previous Starlink missions, the most recent of which was less than a month ago. Three, two, one, zero. M1D engines on the first stage that you see burning there on your screen. That's in preparation for the second event, which is stage separation. MVAC is chilling. Just heard that call that MVAC chilling has begun. Now, stage separation is where the first stage separates from the second stage, and first stage will make its way back to Earth and attempt to land on our drone ship, of course, I Still Love You, while stage two continues on its journey with the third event, second engine start one. That's where we light up that MVAC engine and it will propel the second stage along with the Starlink satellites to their targeted drop-off orbit. Just under 20 seconds or so away from those three events, that's MECO, stage separation, and SES-1. should be able to see MECO here in a few seconds with those nine M1D engines shutting down here shortly. Stage separation confirmed. Stage one landing leg deploy. What a what an amazing view. What an amazing view of that stage one landing burn. We got our cameras back just in time for that. And this marks our 79th successful recovery of an orbital class rocket and the seventh recovery of this particular booster. Expect 